hello everyone welcome to another video my name is ifeolua oweye if you're watching us for the first time kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on all our social medias social media will be displayed on the on the screen kindly subscribe and give us a thumbs up so today we'll be discussing about things to look out for when going for home inspection what is home inspection Home inspection involves checking the property condition to determine if the property is acceptable by you. So that is home inspection. That's what it means by home inspection. So many buyers make mistake. They don't know what to look out for when going for home inspection. Some people just get carried away by the color of the house. They don't look deep what they are supposed to look out for, things that they are supposed to look out for, things that are important. I made that mistake when I was looking when i was hunting for my apartment i was carried away by the exterior but i didn't check the interior and the so those are the things that we need to discuss today things to look out for when going for home inspection so number one is the structure of the house you have to look out for the structure of the house what are the structure of the house it contains the foundation the walls whether they are in good condition. If you are buying a house in a waterlogged area, you have to check the foundation, whether the foundation is well raised. Because if the foundation is not well raised, the house will be sinking. I don't know whether you have been to Millennium Estate in Bagada. If you see those places, they have problem with foundation. Those places, the house is sinking. I don't know whether you have been there, I've been there. The house is sinking. Is it that like, they are like this or they are like this? So those are the those are the structure you should look out for when going for home inspection. Foundation is the most important things to look out for when going for home inspection. Don't make that mistake. Like they had it, they said when the foundation is not good, what will happen to the whole structure? It will not be nice when you know the foundation is not good. Don't be carried away with the pictures the director sent to you. Always make times available to go and check out what you want to spend your money into. Go out and check how the structure of the house is. Does it fit into your taste? So those are the structure. You check this. Like I said, the foundation is the most important things to look out for. Those are the structure to check out for when you are going for home inspection. Whether the, the foundation is okay and the walls too. Whether the wall is where it is. There are some laws now in Lagos. The fence. You know, the, when, when I was growing up, even our fence, you, you will not know what is going on. It is where it is. That you won't know what is going on in the other neighbor but what the, the new law that they are doing now the way they are doing the fence i don't know the centimeter they measure but it's normal you, that you'll be able to see what is going on you check out whether it's fit into your taste those are the you check out the walls the drainage you check out the drainage does it have the drainage in the front of the house so if whether the water is going through the gutters and everything so those are the things you should check out for when you're going for home inspection the next thing to look out for when going for home inspection is the exterior that means the outlook of the house that's what it's made by the exterior and it is very very important you know the way uh, technology is now if you are if you are if you are the buyers you always request for your agent to send you pictures and you'll be carried away with the picture they sent to you but it's very advisable for you to go and inspect the exterior by yourself what is the what is what are the things to look out for the exterior you check the drainage you check the drainage whether they provide a gutter in front of the house you check it whether the uh, the house has gates you check it whether the color is suits to your taste you check it out so those are the things for you to look out for when checking the exterior picture of the house you want to buy whether the roofing is okay you check the roof whether it's leaking and everything you check it out so that those are the things to check out when going for home inspection the exterior too is actually very very important because that's the first thing people will check when coming into your house so the exterior has to be very 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 okay you know the outside may make sense and the inside may not may not be that okay so the exterior has to be very very okay and that thing to look out for time might if there's a house that is built with, with wooden materials always look out for the time might whether it will affect the house because there are some houses you will not even know the exterior they are not okay like that but once you go out for that inspection 
you know, if they call the house particular as for 100 million, but when you check the condition of the house and you know that, oh, this house have the drainage problem, all this thing, the painting, you check the quality of the painting and it's not okay to your taste. You know, when the, that's when the negotiation will come in. So don't know that the things you'll be able to jot down, oh, this thing, for you selling this price for, of this house for 100 million, that means I have to put more work into it. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, the price, that's when the negotiation will come in. Because if you look at the cost that will cost you to review those things that you check out, and that's when the negotiation will come. So those are the things to look out for when checking the exterior of the house. The thing to look out for is when going for home inspection is the interior. That is to check the finishing of the house. So things to look out for in the kitchen. The kitchen, the door, does it have the visitor's toilets? The color, does it have a dining set? Does it have this? Those are the things to check out for. You know, there are some places, once, once they send you pictures, you'll be captivated by the pictures they send to you. But once you check inside, you will see that the space, especially those people that used to be that uh, visitor's room, I don't know what, what happened to them. Those visitor's room is always small. It's always small. It's really like a small place. It cannot even contain six by six beds. So those are the things you should look out for. You check out the, the space, the measurements, whether it's okay, and then the doors. You know, some people are very moved by the doors. I've come in contact with their clients that the reason why they did not buy that property is because of the material they use for that door. Everything, every other thing in that house was okay, but the door, it was not okay by the, the way the door is. So you have to check it, whether it fits into your, into your taste. What do I mean by the door? You know, after using the whole everything, everything, you now use a wood, one kind of wooden door to, to the house. It doesn't speak well, to be honest. So there are some doors that you can use that it will cultivate the bias. So those are the things to look out for. Like I said, the interiors, the interiors really matter. You check out for the kitchen. You know, as a, a woman, what are the things that attract us most in the house is the kitchen. How big it is. If the kitchen is not big, you see. You have taken a client for an inspection, everything was okay. That the woman was, it doesn't matter whether the room is too much, she was just concerned about the kitchen. Is the kitchen big enough? Does it have the washing machine set? Does it have this? She was so carried away about the kitchen. Does it have the heat extractor? Those are the things to look out for. If you are, if you are willing to spend the money and then somebody says you want to buy a property of 120 million, 500 million and you check the house, it doesn't have a uh, heat extractor. It doesn't have microwave, all this stuff and everything. You know, it's, it's not, it doesn't speak well. So that are the things you should look out for when checking, when going for home inspection. So the next thing to look out for when going for home inspection is the plumbing system. What do I mean by the plumbing system? You know, when you're going out for home inspection, there are some places that you will check, you will look out for whether the water system is okay, whether the is well connected. You know, there are some houses you will be carried away with the whole, with the whole, uh, the whole decoration and everything. But I've I've experienced it with a client. The house was okay, everything was okay. There was water heater, but the only problem with that house it was water connection the plumbing connection. From them to pump water, from people living downstairs, they have water, but the problem is people upstairs were not able to get water. So those are the things you need to check out for when going for home, especially, you know, after sweeping, after cleaning the house, the next thing is water. Imagine, if you're able to buy the property and you didn't check it well, and you just move into the house, that's the problem. If there's a water if there's a water system problem that's that's out of it so those are the things you should look out for you, you check the tap whether the water is running well and then you check whether the water is clean as well that's another important things to look out for if the water is clean whether they have water treatment and how is it how do they generate the water so all those things you ask questions and how they get their water is it oh is it borehole or is the essay that is generating this water? So those are the things you should put into consideration when going for home inspection. So another thing to look out for is the electrical system. 
to check if the electrical system is properly wired the reason why you need to check if the the electrical system is properly wired is to avoid uh, the via, uh, fire issues because there are some electrical connection that will affect your appliances imagine buying a television of what of millions and you did not check the wiring system and it will spoil it another thing that you should the reason why you need to look out for the electrical system is the electrical fire you know when there is a spark you know you can't easily quench it with water and it affects the whole building so that's another thing to look out for don't be deceived by the pictures of the houses you know there are some uh, potential buyer they are buyers they don't want to come out or they demand is send me pictures send me pictures send me pictures everything is not about pictures find time to go and check all these things that i listed out check them out because if you don't go out for home inspection imagine me sending you a pro a pictures a someone sending you a pictures and the picture caught your attention everything and then you are, you said that oh i like this house you've already talking about the price and everything and then you get into that place and you check the condition of the house you check the structure you check the exterior you check the interior and you check the plumbing and the electrical issue and it, you see that everything is not fit into your taste so those are the reason why you need to go out for home inspection it's very very important so those are the things to look out for when going for home inspection and then you can book an, uh, an inspection with us even if you are not available we can do virtual inspection for you at chairman properties you just need to book an appointment with us we will show you all these things when i mean by virtual inspection maybe you are not around you are not around we can do that for you that's why we are here to get you your dream homes so what that's what we do we book an appointment with us we we'll go around, we we'll do video calls with you. You check all these things out. You ask us questions. What is this? How is the connection of this? How is everything about this? Show you everything about that. So please kindly visit our website at www.chamaproperties.com and kindly follow us. If you are watching us for the first time, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channels on all our social media platforms. And then please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this information very useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.